Hey everybody, Barry here again, and we have some more work to do with the rat rod. But one quick update first, I finally got my big tires on. Um, they're a little bit old, a little bit cracked up, but they'll be fine for around town. Um, so I guess they pretty much are a big tire because it's right here. 29 by 15 and a half, 15. And these are big. That is a lot of tread and looks a whole lot better on the back of the truck than the smaller tires I had on before. They're bit of a spin fest around town. There's no trouble to get loose in third gear. Um, but man, they look cool as hell and they actually ride really nice with 20 pounds of air in them. So other than that, what we have today, let me come around the front here, we'll show you. I'm gonna relocate my radiator hoses because they are well below my cross member right here. And here's my radiator hoses, about two inches down. And what I have is a problem with Let's get focus up here. Oh, hang on. What I have is a problem with my hoses scraping off the road. And what you can see here is the clamp. This clamp used to look like this clamp, but it's been getting a little personal with the road and I can hear some scraping when I'm going down the road. And when that wears through enough, it's just going to go bang, empty everything all over the road. And besides making myself look like a fool with three gallons of coolant running out of it, it'll also a good chance boil over and blow up the engine. So we're gonna fix that. Today. The plan as of now is to come down with these two hoses here and run directly in this cavity here between the engine block and the cross member. So it looks like I got some room here. Might have to move some, ho some uh, wires around, which are up here by the starter. Might have to kind of move these over that way a little bit or clean them up, but there's a pile of room up here. So we should be able to come down here, come along and connect right back into these hoses again. So really, this should only be an hour or two, but of course, if anybody knows the rules of hot riding, it's probably gonna take all night. So let's get started. What I'm gonna to use to make this possible is a couple uh, pre-bent 90 degree uh, corrugated hoses with steel inside the hose. I don't know if you can see it any sense. Uh, there you go. So there's a steel coil inside the hose to stop it from collapsing. It can be an upper or a lower hose. Part number is Daco 81492. Daco makes a pile of these different hoses, um, different uh, diameters. They make straight ones, different lengths. So I picked inch and a half with a 90 degree bend and a straight on the other end. So that should be able to come right off the water pump, down and right under the engine pretty tight there, hopefully. So we'll see how it fits in a couple minutes. So we got most of the coolant drained out. Just a little pan down here for drips now. So what we have is just a real quick test fit. This is a corrugated hose coming off the uh, thermostat housing. Going down and under my uh, engine mount back there between the engine block and kind of poking out right here. And leaking coolant everywhere. Um, so yeah, what it'll do is come down here now come off of this and go right into uh, this pipe here I think yeah so that'll pretty much just go up there like that I think this is gonna work really well and be fairly quick on a side note this is my kind of front-end Friday This actually fits really well. So it's not kinked off up here, down under the cross member, or under the uh, engine, sorry. Under the starter, into the pipe, and back to the radiator. So this is working really well so far. Let's try the other side, see how well that works.
let me get some light on this. So here are the two hoses coming out of the water pump up top and the thermostat housing over here. So we're going to come down under the engine between the cross member. Down here, got it all trimmed up. I'm just going to put some clamps and stuff on it. And all this back here is going to be exactly like it was before. I only had to get the uh, hoses above the cross member. And right now, our cross member is right here. And everything is basically either level or flush with the oil pan. And I've only touched the oil pan once or twice, you know. But other than that, uh, I think it's pretty well accomplished at the moment. I gotta find a spot to put this clamp that's not on a hose. So after I get uh, after I get this clamp down here, I might be able to run a clamp around like over here somewhere or something like that and uh, make it all up in place. So let me get some clamps on this and we'll start putting some coolant in it. One thing I had a lot of trouble with last time was getting the uh, air out of the radiator. Where the rad is either pretty well level with or probably even a little bit higher than, than the engine, air tends to get trapped up in the rad, especially up in the top cores up here. So what I figured I would do is put the front ramps of the leg in under the truck, but leave the back uh, legs out, and put those pretty well straight across this way as I can so there's no uh, there's no forward uh, weight on a ramp like this, so I don't want to mess anything up. So we'll put it up and see how it goes. <laughs> it's about as high as I want to go there. So that should help get a lot of the air up to the forward and out the... Uh, out the rad cap there. Anything else I might have to let off a hose, it'll kind of burp the air that way. But man, it would look really good going down the street like this, wouldn't it? So we got it filled up to where it's overflowing. So now we know where the air is. We know that there is air in the uh, radiator. So what I gotta do, is let the hose off of this little transfer hose here that was for uh, the um, expansion tank and that so I'm gonna let this hose go and it's gonna piece it a bunch of air and then the coolant level up front will go down and I'll keep going back and forth doing that until fluid comes out of here that way I know the very top of the radiator is full and that way if there's any more little air bubbles or anything like that while I'm driving and going up and down hills hitting holes and stuff like that just driving it it'll uh, it'll get rid of any air that's in there by bringing it up to the radiator cap and out this hose into the overflow tank and i'll have this one probably a little better than half full so when the air comes out it'll bubble off into the atmosphere and then when the engine cools down again it'll pull coolant back into the engine and after so long that'll eliminate any air in there whatsoever So we're all done. This might have been the shortest video yet. Coolant is all filled and seems to be bled. So we'll take it for a drive, get it up to temperature, and then check the coolant again after make sure everything is good. But as for now, we're all finished up. Have a great night, everybody.